Hello everyone, my name is Lanceo90 and welcome back to Let's Play Dwarf Fortress, my new tutorial series. Let's see, we're just finishing this moat. We're going to take a look at it in the 3D view. So let's do that before I forget to do it. Launch Armok Vision. I can't even go into 1440p. <laughs> Take a while for it to load. I think it even takes longer than like Dwarf Fortress takes to launch. Alright, let's see. I and a very confusing controls here. Let me change the viewing window. Here's our mock vision. Let's see, options menu, I think we can go to first. Uh, camera. We might still be waiting for it to load, I'm not really sure here. There's not any kind of sort of like pop up that I gotta. It's kind of why I put this off. It's uh, it doesn't really work that well. I go away though. So this layer may be in-game, from the main layer. Try this again. Oh, don't play door. No, 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 no. Armok Vision. You have to press it or something. I'll lower the graphics quality by one step and I'm going to play it without full screen. I don't think I had these finalizing things go through last time. So I must have just gotten. Lightning? I must have just gotten stuck. Yeah, I guess I just got stuck last time. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, it just got stuck. Okay. Fair enough. 
All right, so we're getting into the game here. Make sure it all gets loaded in well. All right. So here it is. A lot going on, as in same way with the regular game. But here's like the uh, area outside our fortress. We can only see a certain amount of view distance just to save on uh, video memory, I guess. So this is just like the further, further outs so is not rendered very well. Here's like a river. Zoom in a little bit more too. Forest that's full of trees and things. Let's see. Oops. Open up this draw range. This should allow us to see more like trees and stuff if I drag this up. that would start making higher tree layers appear. That's okay. We get... See if we change camera. Yeah, now we're on the ground level. Nah, the trees are kind of here. Alright. Here we are on the ground level. See all the trees. I think that's their max height. All our flowering trees and our animals are out here as well. Just chilling. See all the rocks. There's our fortress itself. See our nice deep moat area. In this mode, you can really get an idea of what's going on a lot better than you can in game. Yeah, we have our big moat. There's actually trees starting to grow in there. We kind of need to stop that from happening. If they grow into full trees, it'll be pretty annoying. You can see we have our overhang. Crenellations on top. I make the sound effect of the shoes quieter. Doesn't seem like it. Uh, okay, this is our stairwell up and down out of there. I recall I made that a long time ago so that people could get in and out. A few doors down there already. Wood piled up everywhere. Here's our other drawbridge. Lots of wood down there. And then here's like the layer up on our terrain. Very deep moat. In most places, except for my mouse is going off screen. Except for this spot here, which is where our base itself is at. So we couldn't really chisel that out. As you can see though, it does look pretty exposed compared to everything else, so we might have to think of something to do here. Just to make that more well defended. Drop down. God, the character is not walking in a straight line. Inside our fortress itself. God, this is really weird. The arrow keys are not really responding that well. We have our farm plots, it doesn't actually show anything growing in them though. Other than like the trees and stuff that are in our base. Don't really 
really care about those. There's our interior stairway up. Stairways just look like ladders. Here's our tray depot. Some caravans coming through there. Doors to our actual fortress. And here should be our stockpile. It's pretty empty these days. So this is where some holes in the terrain were. I know, this is where trees are. It's where trees are above us. <laughs> Door there. Animals. Doggos look like. These are farm plots. El Gato. Our workshops. Now you can now you can get a better visual idea about the about that workshop workshop icon where the uh, dark gray areas are where you can't doors can't walk through. And you can see this is like an L shaped uh, gray area, so we can't actually get through there. The doors can because they can walk on diagonals, but we have to go in through this way. Anything interesting to look at though. This mode is definitely best used for just getting an idea of what things look like. The stuff the doors make doesn't really look interesting enough for this to be like a fun mode to play it in. You can play it in this mode, you can see the button presses down there. our well. Look at it. There she is. All of its glory. Rock layers. And here's where we're starting to make our full base. shops inside these rooms. They're a little bit more detailed when they're put into like these small rooms it looks like compared to like when we put place these above all together. It looks like there's like more stuff that's just rendered out for you to look at. So that much is cool. And all these doors, there should be the ladders up. The stairways up. Wanna go up. And that should be Q, but it's not really working. There we go. And here's our permanent stockpiles more stuff in here as you can see. Can't really get into that back room where all the stone is underground. There we go. Stone stockpiles. Lots of doors up here because they're smoothing out the stone. Should be our grand dining hall. Yep. Tons and tons of doors in here. I guess everyone's idle right now, so I better get these guys and girls assigned to doing things. There's our levers. <laughs> Baby is in the food stockpile for some reason. It's creepy how they always are looking at you. What do we have over this way? Ah, 
this is where our mausoleum is going to be. Okay. All that's left is the... Bedrooms. Look at those. Here's their... Their little bedrooms. Fairly decently sized, I'd say. But yeah, some people just try to make it two spaces big, and that'd be kind of, uh... Kind of crappy. More like jail cells than rooms. And our eventual... Grand rooms for our nobles will be back here. And that's a good look for now. Control I'll delete out of our mock vision. And get the game capture back on. There we go. All right. Back into the game itself. So now you have a better idea of what everything looks like. I really find it best for just figuring out what you want to do with uh, your base defenses. It's good for trying to find out if there's any weaknesses in your base defense. As we saw, this it is now looks pretty seven. rough. Gotta try to figure out what we want to do about that. Couple different things. We can make like a gatehouse on this side. Or we could... We could dig under our base. So that there's more clearance underneath, but that wouldn't really stop the, uh, the fact that there's not much space between this and the ground. Let's build another wall. It could still be climbed over and I couldn't put a moat further out. clear the area underneath, right? This should work. Should come down the staircase. We got this up ramp. Should be able to channel everything out. Oh, have the game pause. Wait, why is it taking so long? There's still too much wood in this uh, pit, though. For my liking. tunnel underneath this. Slightly more secure, but it doesn't really help the wall issue over here. Let's try to get more wood stuff built here. 
guess we'll build a bunch of wood floors here. People can fall down into the well and into the spot at the end there. Make sure I'm using... There's lots of blocks there, I just want to make sure I'm using actual logs. I'm going to avoid those last pieces for now. Blocks, blocks. Blocks, blocks. I should keep lots of people busy. Doors. What are these? Millstone and corn, that's right. Build workshop corn. Build workshop millstone. It's mechanisms. Yeah, we do need a full time mechanic if we can. Therapist. Yeah, we just want to grab someone who's kind of useless. Plenty of farmers, so I'm going to turn off one of my farmers. Oh, he's kind of a plant gatherer anyway. It's fine. You are going to be my new full-time mechanic. Even though you're going to be trashed here at it. I'll also make you my architect, just so you can get both done. I'm even going to let you focus on it. I'm going to turn off your other hauling jobs. There. Get all the wood out of this moat. There's nothing more to catch. What are these? Oh, we're starting to make leather on our own. They must automatically tan leather now. That's cool. I didn't notice that they were doing that. Pretty helpful, though, if you ask me. Now, rock, rock scepters, please. Cancel the pots. Oh, crap, running out of drink, dude. People are brewing drink. You see, yeah, I was able to just look at that and say, oh, that's not enough drink. Why is it nice to do that? Is my brewer full time brewer? I thought he was, but. Yes. Cook is a full time cook as well. kitchen. Which one's kitchen? Let's see. 
I just want to see where it's, uh, round blocks are. Okay, it's just the corner pieces there. I'm digging upstairs, but oops. Dig. Upstairs there. Dig. Downstairs. Right above it. Just want them to have a, a quick way. Honestly, a quick way both ways is pretty helpful. Yeah, my cat's being annoying. It's on. Let's just keep running out of fruit, is what's going on. Actually able to put the rough gems into bins if they're in stockpiles. Okay. We're gonna stop building bins for a moment though. Because <clears throat> I do want to start building spikes. situation. These as bedrooms. Uh, to get stuff, and I think he's going somewhere else to get barrels. Let's see. No finished goods. No, uh, yes. Forbid everything. for empty buckets, basically. Empty barrels. Here. 
yes, they are. Okay. Did everything but barrels. Come I can't turn it off. Hmm. He's just kind of boned. Like, I just want to be able to store more, uh... barrels in here. So what I can do, though, is I can say permit plants, permit fruit, For the rest to be gone. And here, forbid plants, big fruit. I'll make his journey just a little bit quicker. So we'll go to stocks, kitchen. Let's see, we're gonna start turning off things from cooking and we're gonna turn them on for, for uh, brewing. But we're all out of time for this video. Hope you all enjoyed and have a good day.